Hey guys, so Fake Sagan has made his return to YouTube, and he did so in the form of challenging me to a live debate. We all know why he's doing this. He knows that drama and controversy command attention on this site, so he wants to make sure that his comeback will make some waves. I'm sure he'll also get some measure of satisfaction from the fact that the guy who's responsible for this is helping to publicize his return. His debate challenge video was pretty idiotic. I mean, he couldn't even make a comeback video without including a glaring inaccuracy. The whole thing pretty much only served to demonstrate his disingenuousness and the fact that he's been thinking about me for two years. I already knew that he has trouble keeping my name out of his mouth, but now it's clear that my videos really got under his skin. Before I respond to some of the nonsense he said in his video, I'll make a comment about his challenge. I personally have nothing to talk to Fakey about and no one, including myself, really understands what the purpose of this debate is supposed to be. He says he wants to debate me about my anonymity and the fact that he thinks I'm a pussy and a coward. I don't really see how that would make for a very substantive debate. I won't be convinced to forego my anonymity or reveal a single detail of personal information about myself. Fakey keeps saying this. I am not Brett Keen. I'm not Brett Keen. Meaning, of course, that Brett is a moron while Fakey is a worthy opponent. Let's see you debate me straight, though. <laughs> Let's see you debate somebody with a fucking brain. No offense, Brett. But to me, the main difference isn't in their intellect, but the fact that I actually had a reason to debate Brett Keen. That reason being to put an end to his mantra that nobody can back up what they say about him in a live conversation. This, on the other hand, as Fakey said himself, is simply a publicity stunt, and the only purpose I can figure is to have a pissing contest and give him a chance to try to prove that he's smarter than me. I also don't like the idea of setting the precedent of having to show up to a blog TV event every time some jackass says I'm a pussy if I don't, like it's a fight in a high school parking lot. That being said, I have made videos about Fakie, so I suppose he has the right to challenge me to a discussion about them. Therefore, on the conditions that it's scheduled for a day and time when it's convenient for me, and he doesn't arrogantly try to move the goalposts or set more non-negotiable stipulations, I accept the challenge. So now I'll move on to respond to some of the bullshit Fakey had in his video. But that's the point. That's that's what I want to debate you about, uh, Straight Dope. I, I think you're a pussy. I think this was further illustrated when you made Fake Sagan Fails Volume 2 right after I got banned, knowing full well that I wouldn't be able to respond to it even if I wanted to. And, you know, you realize that once I was gone, there were going to be 10,000 people going, where's Fake Sagan? What happened to him? And if you used my name in any way, then they would all kind of cling to you like like rats clinging to a piece of wreckage from my sunken ship. So you capitalized off my demise, and, and now I'm back, you know, um, and you're part of the reason why. The problem with this is that it's completely untrue. Fake Sagan Fails Part 2 was posted on November 11th, 2009. He was suspended in early June of the same year, so there was half a year between his suspension and that video. So why did I make that video when I did? Gee, maybe because the event I was commenting on had just happened. And what's this crap about not being able to respond? There was nothing stopping him from creating an account. But of course, he wouldn't have needed to, because the account he's using right now was created two months before my video. I'm not Brett Keen. Well, it seems one thing he has in common with Brett is difficulty grasping temporal order. I was in blog TV earlier tonight. Um, and I ran across Mr. Straight Dope. Now, a lot of people know that I've been toying around with the idea of returning to YouTube and challenging Straight Dope to a debate. So, not surprisingly, people started egging us on and saying, come on guys, you gonna fight, come on fake Sagan, let's do this debate thing, come on Straight Dope. And, you know, I, I just assumed that a guy who, who made two videos about me you know, when this opportunity presented itself, he would just be like, Yeah, fake sake, let's, let's fucking do this, punk! But instead, he really kind of hedged at the idea. He was like, Whoa, you know, I didn't agree to any kind of debate. And that just filled me with so much loathing and contempt. And what a coward you are. Straight dope. You, you really pick and choose your fights, don't you? Yeah, you debated Brett Keane. Congratulations.
You fucking beat Brett Keen in the debate. Congratulations. He wants to make it seem like I was somehow backing down from something. The truth is that I was the one who brought up that he had been musing about debating me. We had a bit of a back and forth in which I told him I think he's a bit obsessed with me. I also said he got himself suspended so he could play the martyr for free speech. And he said, save it for the debate. So I replied that I hadn't agreed to a debate. Of course I hadn't. I hadn't been formally challenged, no terms or format had been discussed, so no agreement had been made. He wants to portray reasonableness as apprehensiveness because he's a bullshitting wannabe internet tough guy. You know, I've noticed that there's a, a pattern to the people that you make videos about. You know, you made a video about uh, um, Mannix the Pirate, and, and Mannix is a great guy, I'm, I'm a Mannix fan, but we all know he doesn't really do the, the pwnage thing. Uh, he doesn't make those type of videos, that's, that's his choice, you know, whatever floats his uh, boat. But you've also made it clear that you, um, you know, that, that you don't like my friend the Amazing Atheist, and yet you've never directly challenged him, and that, I think that's because you know he would step up to the challenge. This is more bullshit. Mannix called me out and I gave him what he asked for. As for TJ, just because I haven't dedicated an entire video to him doesn't mean I haven't directly challenged him. I've criticized him multiple times on a specific issue, and he appears in the thumbnails of several of my videos. If that's not direct enough for him to... step up, then I guess that's up to him. You slipped up when you debated Brett Keane. You really fucked up there, Dopey, and I, I gotta assume that you didn't think I would ever come back to YouTube, or else you wouldn't have done that. Well, I am back. I don't know why Fake Sagan thinks that his general existence has any bearing on what I do. Does he really imagine he's some sort of looming figure in the back of my mind that I factor into my decisions? These days he pretty much only ever crosses my mind when I get PMs telling me, hey, Fakey was talking about you in blog TV again. And I think, well, that's mildly amusing and kind of pathetic. And then I move on. His display of self-importance is comical, and the fact that after two years, he's decided to justify why he didn't respond to the first video I ever made just goes to show how fragile his ego is, despite his bravado. But hell, why listen to me? I'm just a faceless pussy after all. Thanks for watching.